this image is enlarged right now a thousand percent that's the only way to see what these things are I need to get me a new chair this shit is squeaking so bad distracting my fellow viewers this get this huge building right there They're probably correct, they probably are the original inhabitants of this solar system because they created this solar system. They had terraformed several planets and moons. Just think about it, there are 168 moons and NASA is the only agency that knows that it's been sending orbiters to all of them, knows everything about them. including uh, asteroids. I can even imagine what stuff they have seen there. It will blow anyone's mind. Only scientist that spoke a lot in depth was Dr. Norman Bergrum. He wrote a book called Ringmakers of Saturn. Now that them book cost three hundred dollars if you can find it. Three hundred dollars. Can imagine what's in the freaking book. What I saw in the conference, anybody can watch that for free. It's a nine part conference, it'll blow your mind in pieces. Everything you think you knew, that it goes out the window with that. All I know is you need to watch that video conference by Dr. Norman Bergrum, <clears throat> Ring Makers of Saturn. It's a life-changing experience, big time. 
but no life changing move. It's a mind opening big time. I've seen those vehicles everywhere. Everywhere. Well, somebody that can build entire moons, planets, and even a manufactured star. The sun is a manufactured star. And they have built a lot of them. According to these people, the reptilian, those reptilian races can live up to 35,000 years. Imagine the knowledge these people can acquire or have acquired and are still acquiring for who knows how long. So they must, they got to be so far ahead. I just can even think about just mind-boggling. What you're looking at here is a major engineering feat. Look at that. like a vein, a gigantic ass vein with everything inside. Because the planet is so hot, so, so close to the sun. The material that they're building, all the stuff we have to be, some badass material that can keep the temperature cool. That's why you don't see anyone walking around and shit. Don't be fooled by the, the humans and the monkeys and horses and shit living on this planet. So nah, that ain't gonna happen. Always 700 degrees temperature. That's what they do. they live on the ground everywhere. The radiation from the sun is too powerful. But they have conquered all of that a long time ago. I imagine that what they wear is a membrane all over their body that maintains their body from everything. Just look at this thing, the tower right there. And every single other construction feet. Just amazing. see all the structures around along the vein or tube or whatever you want to call that. <laughs> 